Yeah, good. Thank you. Very well, thank you. Yourself? Yeah, very intense. I thought first game of the season is always one of them uh, catch 22s that you want to get off to a good start. You're positive in all the elements of the game, but you also got to realise that you know you don't want to lose a game as well. So I thought there was very good stuff. Um, you know, there was also areas where we were a little bit off it today. Um, but when you're not at it and you're not at the races, you, it's important you don't lose. And I thought they showed tremendous heart, courage and desire to not get beat. And I thought that's a real positive, especially in front of a bumper crowd. You know, I have to say our supporters were amazing. They really were. Uh, the engagement that the players have, are trying to build, rebuild with this football club uh, has, has got to happen because that's what we're about. You know, we've got to know what we're about, be proud of what we're about. And, and they showed us what we we're all about today. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, I think there was nine pe nine players that made their debut today. Um, what I'll say is, I think we probably played about seventy percent, uh, not through effort and determination and all that lot, just from our rhythm. We had no rhythm, and that tends to happen sometimes when you've got a new team. We literally have got a new team, and I said to them before the game, when it's a new season, it's a new team, and it's a new beginning. Right. What you've got to do is you've got to put fundamentals in place of what you want to be about as a, as a football club and a team moving forward. And I think we've done that. You know, we can be better with the ball, without a doubt. And you know, if we're playing at 70, 75 percent against a team of the quality of Sydney, we're not going to win. Um, but when you can't win, it's important you don't lose. Do you think things will quickly go quickly, Carl? Um, because you, know, you have a new team. Yeah, no. Do you know what? I d yeah, I don't know, Vince. It's a case of I get asked that question quite a bit and I don't know is the answer. Uh, time will tell, I suppose. It's not easy to have so many new players, uh, but I'm not using that as an, an excuse. It, it might take a little bit of time. Pre-season was good. We showed lots of glimpses of what we can be about, you know. But we're playing against a team that they're in Sydney that's very, very settled. You know, they kept the core group of players. We haven't got a core. This is our core now. So it might take a little bit of a time, but we won't use that as an excuse. We'll just get back to work on Monday and we'll go again. Yeah, no, I think we huffed and puffed, I think is a good analogy for it. I think we turned the ball over too many times in midfield, um, but our reactions, our recoveries were very good. Uh, in the moments where I thought we did get into the final third, our, our final pass, final execution, final cross was was just a little bit off it. Uh, and then when we did have an action, obviously uh, the keeper made one or two good saves or we just missed the headers. So uh, it's always an area you can improve, even if you score three or four goals, managers will tell you they want to score seven or eight goals. Um, so it will be something uh, that we'll probably go back to the drawing board on. And it's just every week that you play a different opposition, they bring up different problems to you. So whether it's back four, back five, back three, you know, if people want to call it that, you've got to find ways to break down oppositions. And we were unable to do that today. He was, yeah, but I thought Adama Troyo was excellent today. Uh, I think it was a good little battle between, I think, two ex-teammates that were very competitive. Um, he got into little pockets and he did cause us problems. But what I'll say to that as well is Adama call, caused him a lot of problems going on that left side as well. And we didn't probably exploit it as much as we should have or could have or planned to. Um, but that happens sometimes. But that was one of a number of good individual battles on the field today. Yeah, it would have been nice, wouldn't it? A nice story for him. But I was pleased when he come come on. Obviously, we know I know more about Jack than probably what a lot of people do as well. But he brought a bit of calmness to our game. He's got an authoritative uh, stature about him. It, if he would have scored, you probably would have expected that every week. So maybe it's a good thing that he didn't do that. Um, but he probably had a, an easy chance with a header, which he decided to try and control it with his head. So it's just nice to see him on the field. But having said that, it was nice to see young Alex Badalot on the field as well. A young 16-year-old who's starting his career as well. So lots of positives, uh, lots of areas we can prove. Yeah, 
Well, he literally has been training for two weeks. Uh, so, you know, when you're out of, uh, tr you, can, you can run all day, you can go and train for marathons, you can do all of these things. But once you go into the football world and you're doing football movements day in, day out, it changes your whole, the, the fitness elements of it. And I think Jack, you know, he hasn't played for a few months, but it takes time. So what I, I've got to be careful of, I know that the, everyone wants to see him. I want to see him play week in, week out, you know, 100% I do. You want to see your good players play, but we've got to be very careful because the last thing that I want to do is throw him out there, get injured, and then us as, as a club, the supporters, not see him for two months because that's just not the good thing or the right thing to do for a player. So it'll take time, um, but hopefully in the next few weeks, then we'll see him get up to speed and, and compete in midfield for us. Yeah, yeah, he did. Listen, Sydney had pinned us back at certain times. Uh, we knew that would be the case because of the way they play with the box. They're very, um, they they don't change too much about the way they play. They haven't done in the, the short period I've been over here in, in two years. Um, and they've got a nucleus of players that understand their roles and responsibilities within their framework. And, you know, that's credit to Bimby and, and Sydney. You know, when, when you have the same players for three, four, five years, it's easy to coach them. Um, but yeah, he brought a calming presence. We were just getting a little bit tired at the time because we were chasing the ball here and there, but we didn't change our shape. We just changed a few personnel. Uh, it worked. Uh, obviously, we had a little bit of momentum towards the end as well, but derby games are dangerous because you want to go and win them and you feel you can win them, but you've got to be very careful you don't lose them. And that's why I'm pleased for the supporters today. I would have loved to have got my win. We'll save that for another day. Thanks very much. Okay, no problem. Have you had Jack in here? Oh,